my wife got me this super awesome gimbal for Christmas. And then she got me this super awesome lens for my birthday. And what I mean by both of those is she said, dear, what do you want for, oh, what do you want for your Christmas? And I said, I want this gimbal. And she said, okay, just go on Amazon and get it. Okay, thank you, dear. And pretty much the same thing two weeks later for my birthday. So thank you for the Christmas and birthday. But that's really beside the point here. The point is that lens makes the camera too heavy for this gimbal to handle. And I need a counterweight, otherwise it's not going to work. Uh, Moment makes a counterweight and it looks really nice. But the problem is it sits right on the end. And then that negates... 75% of the reason I bought this gimbal in particular, and that is the nice locking feature that it has. So I thought, all right, well, let's get on the interwebs and, uh, and see what other people can do. And what they can do is go get a bunch of washers and zip tie them to the end. And I didn't like that at all. So... I made something different, and if Moment or Zune ever sees this video, maybe you can take an idea out of this to make a new counterweight. The first thing I did was go to Hobby Lobby and get Tungsten Pinewood Derby weights. And they are, Tungsten is a really dense, heavy metal, so I didn't want this thing to take up lots of room uh, then, where'd it go? Are you kidding me? I lost that thing already. Uh, there it is. So these weights, this is a smaller one, but they're round cylinders. I glued them, to, I glued three of them together. And then, then I took a piece of metal, bent it into a circle. Glued that together with super glue just for a temporary bond. Then I uh, dipped the whole thing in plastic dip, a couple layers worth. This whole thing can slip right onto the end. It's grippy, it's tight, and I can still lock the gimbal. So if you're a content creator out there and you have this gimbal, this is the way you should go. Unless you are like really doing something extreme, it's not going to fall off. Don't worry about it. Your vacation to Disney World is not going to cause this. I mean, it takes a little bit of effort to get it off of there. It's not going to cause this thing to fall off. So, there you go. Spend a little more than 50 cents at Home Depot and put a little bit of effort into it and you will not be disappointed. So, thanks. We'll see you next time. And as always, take care.